Good everyone, I hope you guys have an amazing day. So what I'm going to do today, right, I'm just going to do the final uh, winding down of the data models. I think I've been talking about a few stuff here and there, right? So we're going to look at something about the care and then uh, about the provider. Um, rest, you, can, you guys can just have a look at the org and as far as the solution, you guys can figure out. It's, it's not very difficult, right? It's just pretty simple. So we talked about so I spoke about the care model, right, in the past. And I also demonstrated, you know, how you can add someone uh, as a care provider. And also that uh, different things about the goals and uh, tasks, right? So if I wanted to, um, you know, model this in, in the form of a data, like in the form of a data model, so it's pretty straightforward, right? So we start with a person account, like, for instance, let's say, um, Let's take an example of the child screen, right? Child screen had a kidney problem, so he went to a specialist to say, "Hey, I've got a back ache." So, the specialist prescribed a medication. So now, it's kind of funny, but the the, the ad, sorry, uh, the trailhead example, because what they said is, right? Okay, you prescribe a medicine, and based on that medication, if you take this medication, you are eligible for a K program. So what that means is that you have to join a K program. And when you join a K program, um, so you will have a care coordinator who's responsible to just make sure uh, you are healthy. In New Zealand, I haven't seen such similar program based on the medication type. Um, there might be care program for old age people, but I personally haven't seen any. We have physio, right? If, if something goes wrong, right? Let's say, for instance, uh, you work, you're working out and then you know you enjoy your back then we have ACC something called uh, ACC accidental uh, oh, I forgot the damn ACC a ACC New Zealand <clears throat> and yeah. right so this is the ACC right so in New Zealand uh, you know so what happens is right so if you get injury or if you get um something right uh, you can claim uh using acc right i i did a few times right many years ago right when i got injured in the gym so i claimed right so i had a slip disc because of uh, i accidentally you know injured myself you know uh so on a leg stay so um unusual but you know so i claim and also right um you know uh i did a project for acc right i've been a contractor for acc uh in my previous project so i i worked for them for like 11 months so i built some you know interesting stuff for them so um so yeah uh, sorry i digress but just saying um so um so in, in New Zealand, it works a bit different, right? This example, I believe it's more specific to the United States. And I I don't understand how the the damn American uh, healthcare works. So and so my apologies if I if my blabber are certain things which makes no sense, especially from a New Zealand perspective, right? It doesn't make sense to me, right? So I understand that I understand the concept of a the care provider, what it means, right? But to suggest, right, if you take a certain pain medication, you're automatically enrolled. Um, a bit of a rich to me, but either way. Um, so, yeah, in this example, right, as you can see that. Um, um, no, sorry, no, not this one. Yeah, this example, right. Um, so we have, like, this guy, Charles Green. Um, so he went to specialist because... He got a kidney problem, so because he was not able to handle the pain, so the doctor recommended the pain medication, and the kind of pain medication made him eligible for a care program, so where he will be looked after by uh, a care uh, team of care providers. Um, and so, yeah, so as you can see, these are all your uh, health cloud objects, right? So, and the person who's looking after, uh, or I would say a care program team member is Amy Huffman, and she is associated with this. 
and then you have the CAPE program, right? And it has eligibility rule and which is the care program and Rolly, because obviously, you know, when you are joining a care program, you have to enroll, right? So I remember uh, I spoke about a care program, care plan, where everything goes in the lead and then you have to convert a patient, right? So if you, if you recall that uh, presentation I did, so you'll remember that this is kind of similar process. So yeah, this is in simple how the data model looks like for the care, right? And then we have something called provider, right? So this is how the provider stuff looks like. You have the person accounts, then you have healthcare provider, then care provider, and you know, health. So it's linked to the healthcare provider. Uh, so this is not, uh, it's, we are not talking about child screen as a patient. We're talking about a therapist, right? And how the therapist fits into this regime. Of the data model, right? If Charles Green is no longer playing a role in this case because we are specifically talking about the provider, right? Provider is someone who provides a care, right? Um, so let's say in this case, is you're talking about the Sarah Johnson physical therapist. So part of a so Sarah Johnson person account will be linked to the healthcare provider, and this is the NHI. Sorry, Sarah jo Johnson NPI. I don't know what NPI means. In New Zealand, we have an NHI number. So, and then it's all about the certification and the creation, right? Obviously, you know, when you're hiring a specialist, right, you're a cardiologist or, or a neurosurgeon or, or a urologist, you need to have your certification, your license, your you know, degrees and whatever, right? So that all fits into individual objects here. And then, oh yeah, that's the person education. So, so this is, I know that it might be a bit off, maybe a bit boring, uh, but uh, but this is just a basic data model. I just wanted guys to know, right? Um, and the key thing, what I would say, right? Um, it's just case by case, right? Like I would say my example, right? I've been working on a health cloud, and a couple of things like payer, pay, right? For instance, uh, payer, uh, the insurance stuff. We don't use it much because, like I said, in, in New Zealand, the concept is not very common. Like in United States, I'm not sure about Canada. I guess they may have a health club, but you know, can correct me if you're a Canadian. Um, so, you know, and maybe in other countries, I'm not already. So I can talk uh, mostly from a New Zealand perspective. So um, we, we do use health cloud here. Uh, but the way it's been used by, uh, you know, health, some of the health agents in the U.S. is very different to how we use it in New Zealand, right? So some of the things what you'll be using it as a part of your daily, uh, you know, health cloud operation, we won't be using that something similar in New Zealand, right? If that makes sense. But that being said, you know, we have this functionality. We have this data model. If you think it's something we you want to use it, just go and use it, right, based on your business scenario and the business problem you're trying to solve. Um, so, yeah, that's something I wanted to cover uh, because, you know, I don't really want to leave this topic aside. Um, so, you know, I just don't want to talk anymore about it, right, um, because I think I want whatever I wanted to cover, it's, it's enough from a data model perspective. We have other topics to discuss. So, yeah, that being said, uh, that's for today. Uh, and... Perhaps from Saturday, we'll look into more other hands-on stuff, right? So that being said, you guys have an amazing uh, Thursday. Adios.